Susan here. I'm just going to show you really quickly one of the areas that I go online to find silhouettes for some of my patterns. I'm going to Google Chrome here and I'm going to type in public domain silhouettes. Now once you type this in, they're going to give you a lot of different options here. Now I've already previously looked for birds, so I'm going to have birds automatically pop up. But down here, this is pixabay.com. You don't want that. You need to make sure that you are reading properly the line. The freepick.com, nope. This is publicdomainvectors.org, and that is what you're looking for. So you can click onto that, go to home, type in whatever you are searching for. So here is where I'm going to type in bird silhouettes. And now they're going to give you many different options here. This uh, rectangle right up here, make sure you are reading when you get on here to make sure that you're not going to be violating any copyright laws. This is belonging to Adobe and they will charge you for anything up here. Anything down here is a public domain, and there's lots of options. This would make a really nice segmentation scroll saw pattern. I like that a lot. But as you can see, there's many, uh, many different styles and selections that you can choose. I'm just going to be making a bird uh, plant stake that you can stick inside the house, inside uh, one of your planters. And that would work. This would work and you just keep looking through and trying to find the one that you really would like and of course you've got silly ones or whatnot but these are all free free for the taking and if it's not free it will specify that it is not free but most of these will be i'm going to go back to the first page click onto this one double click again here's adobe you don't want that this one is fine right over here so I'm going to right click, save image as, and then you put it in whatever folder you want, call it whatever you want down here to save it, and then you'll be able to pull it up on your computer and print it out or resize or whatever you'd like to do, and that's a whole new video. I just wanted to show you really quickly how you can access some free images. So thanks for watching and give it a try.